We've all been there. You pick up your cell phone, you open up one of your social media feeds, maybe Instagram, you look at a photo, you scroll with your finger or your thumb, you look at another photo and another one and another one, and then you look up and you realize 5, 10, 15 minutes has gone by and you didn't even know it. You just got caught in a dopamine seeking reward loop. Dopamine is a brain chemical. It was first discovered in 1958 by some Swedish researchers. And dopamine is involved in all kinds of things, our mood regulation, sleep, uh, motion, attention. But more recently, researchers have gotten interested in the relationship between dopamine and rewards. Now, initially, it was thought um, that dopamine was a pleasure chemical. If you ate some food you liked, if you had sex, you, if you had a pleasurable experience, then dopamine would be released. But more recent research by Kent Barrage and Robert Sapolsky, among others, has shown that it is not so much that dopamine gets released when you have a pleasurable experience, but in anticipation of a reward or a pleasurable experience. So what does this have to do with your smartphone? Well, what happens is you feel the urge to look at something that's that motion, that's that motivation, that curiosity, and that is likely fueled by a short dopamine release. And so you pick up your cell phone, you open up your feed, and you look at your photo on Instagram. Now that gives you a little bit of a reward, which then stimulates more dopamine so that you take more action because you're anticipating more reward. And so then you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. So you get a little bit of a reward, which makes you want to seek, which gives you a little bit of a reward, which makes you want to seek, and you just get going in this loop. Now there's some real important parts of this that have to do with muscle memory. So it's not just that you're a passive recipient, but that you are actually taking action. And that action is usually has to do with your muscles. And with our smartphones, it's a very small action. It's like a little swipe with our finger or with our thumb. It might be a swipe up. It might be a swipe over. It might be a, just a little bit of a click to get more details. And this muscle memory component is important because what you're doing is you're connecting the dopamine release with a conditioned response. So we know from Ivan Pavlov's work that it's really easy for humans to develop a physical conditioned response. And the movement of the finger is a conditioned response. So now we've tied together the dopamine release with the movement of our finger. And that helps just get us caught and go over and over and over again. So what can you do about this? Is there anything that you can do if you don't want to get caught? in a dopamine reward seeking loop. Well, you're, you might say, well, I'll, I just won't start, you know, I won't, I won't open Instagram and then it won't happen. Well, that's true, but probably I'm willing to bet you're going to open it out of habit, if nothing else, because of that conditioned response. So once you're in it, if at any point you realize you're in it, at some point you're going to realize what you need to do is have a counter movement. You need to have another movement because see, you've got this muscle memory movement of the scroll with your finger or your thumb, and that's what's keeping the conditioned response going. What's your counter move? You need a physical counter movement that turns it off. And uh, I'll tell you what mine is. It's very simple. So when I'm, you know, glued to my screen and I'm scrolling with my thumb or my finger and I realize, uh-oh, I've been doing this for a while, I very quickly, without thinking about it, I will press the home button really fast and take the phone and turn it upside down and put it on the table. And I'll, you know, back away, back away from the phone. But I have this, so I have these movements. It's press the home button, turn the phone over, put it down. And that's my counter movement that I actually now have a conditioned response to that movement 
And when I do that, that stops the dopamine reward loop. I know other people um, who will say what they'll do, like if they're sitting on a couch and it's a soft surface, they'll actually uh, take the phone and flip it and kind of toss it. They do this tossing movement and throw it on the couch. I don't do that because I would tend to do that and it would probably fall on something hard and break my phone. But you want to think of a physical movement that you do whenever you realize you're in a loop, that'll help counteract the loop. It might work a little bit, but you know what? It's still really easy to get caught in a dopamine seeking reward loop.